Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about the Heart 10th Be Heart theme. I hope you guys like this theme. So today we're going to talk about the structure and function of blood vessels, and then we're going to talk about the pathway of blood throughout the heart. So the blood vessel. The red part represents the artery, the web-like structure, the thin structure represents the capillary, and the blue part represents the vein. The vein is not actually blue. It appears blue because of other reasons. It relates to wavelengths and physics-y stuff, so Google it if you're very curious. But anyways, arteries carry blood away from the art. Artery away, AA. That's how you memorize it. It has a thick, elastic, smooth muscle to withstand high pressure. So it has a layer of endothelial cells and a connective tissue. The capillaries only consist of one single unit of cells. They're called endothelial cells. And so the walls are one cell thick and so small that blood only travels in a single file. So if it travels in a single file, it's going to be very, very slow. But blood travels slowly because it has to allow time for the diffusion of nutrients and waste from the cell to the blood or the blood to the cells. So that's why it takes a really long time. So um, from, it's the transition between the artery and the veins. So it's the transition between the oxygenated blood to the deoxygenated blood. So they exchange gases like CO2 and oxygen. And then lastly, we have the veins. It also has connective tissue, smooth muscles, and endothelial cells, but they, are, they appear to be a lot thinner, right? So it carries blood towards the heart, not towards from the heart, towards the heart. And it has valves to prevent backflow. So what the valves are, are these things. So the veins have to go down to the feet as well, right? But the blood moves upward to the heart. So in order for the blood not to go backward, the valves to propel the blood upward. So that's why the veins have valves. And so it doesn't need a thick layer of smooth muscle because it's not going to withstand the high pressure of the pumping of the heart. Now let's talk about the beautiful heart. First, the blood travels through the vena cava. The blue represents the deoxygenated blood. So this is the blood from the body, from the capillaries. They exchange gases. They receive CO2 and they got rid of the oxygen. They provided the other cells with oxygen. So that's why they have lost oxygen right now. So the deoxygenated blood travels through the superior vena cava and through the inferior vena cava. Superior means higher, inferior means lower. So that's why... Inferior doesn't mean like less important. They're both very important in traveling the blood. And then it goes to the right atrium. It's still deoxygenated blood. And we call this right atrium because when you, we see diagrams of the body, it's the standard to show uh, our mirror reflection. So that's why. So pretend the body is right in front of you, uh, is facing you across from you, okay? And then it goes to the right ventricle. Yes, right. And the heart is four chambered, so it has the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. Now it goes to the pulmonary artery. If you think of pulmonary, you have to think of lungs. Okay, this is a really weird diagram, but the pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs, the deoxygenated blood. So it doesn't really travel like that. The art lungs aren't really placed there, but just for diagram's sake, let's just believe that the lungs are placed there. And then the lungs deoxygenate the blood. Now that's why the blood is red now. It's just symbolism of the oxygenated blood. And then it goes through the pulmonary veins. Pulmonary meaning lungs. And veins carry blood towards the heart, right? So that's why it's called veins. And then the pulmonary vein, through the pulmonary vein, it goes to the left atrium, to the left ventricle, and through the aorta. The aorta pumps blood throughout the rest of the body, the deoxygenated blood through the rest of the body, and that's how the other cells in the body receive oxygen and provide CO2. And so they deoxygenate the blood. The cells deoxygenate the blood. That come fr comes from the aorta, and it goes back to the vena cava. So that's how the cycle recycles again and again and again, forever and ever. So that's how... The blood travels throughout the body. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys understand a lot about the heart now. Some extra information about the heart is that it travels in 70 beats per minute and pumps about 5 liters of blood each minute. And the heart itself has its own pacemaker called the sinoatrial node, which sets the timing of the contractions of the heart.
so that's all you kind of you need to know um, this is for SAT biology so thank you guys so much for watching